Okay, that's a cold open. Welcome back to Shantae, everybody. It's my birthday, or at least it will be when this video gets uploaded to the channel on Friday because I'm recording this on Wednesday because I'm irresponsible as fuck. But on the plus side, that means I'm able to tell people that it's my birthday and guilt you because you didn't buy me a gift. I told you, I told you about it, but you forgot, and I know you did, okay? I was expecting 37 gifts at my door this morning, and nobody remembered. Like, I got, like, one happy birthday from my mom, and my dad told me I was adopted. Like, this has been more or less, like, the third worst birthday that I've had. Entry fees 20 gems. But so, yeah, like, thank you so much for not remembering. I'm, I'm so happy. I did save. Yes, I'm ready. And, by the way, I'm getting my own personal fucking birthday gift, as I get to suffer in the fucking battle tower. Knock him dead. I hope I can. What's the magic button again? That is not the magic button. That's the magic button. Yeah, I'm just gonna be equipping this fucking thing to- Oh god- Oh, there's a time limit too? Oh, fuck off. Okay, so... I have not played through this before, but I'm assuming it's just gonna be a fucking... Rush. How many times it's gonna take me? Who the hell knows? I really hope it doesn't take me- Oh! Oh, it gives me extra time. Nice, that's actually really useful. Also, there's numbers on them, so... Yes, these numbers are- These rooms are very clearly numbered, but I have no idea how many rooms there are. I'm going to assume 10. Oh, f oh, fuck off, game. Uh, and that also sucks that I can't move while I'm attacking. That still isn't all of them. There's probably somebody over here. Yep, there's all these people. Thankfully, the pike ball is surprisingly useful in getting in killing everybody for me. Okay. So, yes, it is, in fact, my birthday. And uh, as far as I can tell from two days prior, I have no idea if I'm going to be doing anything... Nice for my birthday. It's tiny clock. Uh, hopefully I will have found time to hang out with my friends or something. But as of right now, I have no idea because I'm recording from the past. And we haven't really come up with any plans yet. But also... <clears throat> yeah. I've... Oh, fuck you. Oh, yeah. This was surprisingly easy. Go in there. Go in there. Get a clock or something. This is a surprisingly simple uh, boss rush thing that they're doing here. Clock. Bigger clock. Yeah, not 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 uh not the most taxing of both. Oh, never mind. And yeah, as soon as I say that, what the fuck? I pre I was pressing left. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh fuck. Oh god. I was about to die again, and I really should have turned off the pike ball for that. Oh whatever. Here, let's hope that we get some. I get some hearts to heal my stupidity there. Uh, no, time, get the time. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much, like, topped off on time this entire fucking game, this entire fucking round. I am, like, absolutely not, uh, having any trouble here. Also, these guys are so much easier when I have, like, a little, like, fucking floating ball. Oh, fuck these guys. Oh, and the pike ball doesn't hurt them. Actually, no, it does. It just only hurts them some of the time. And that was embarrassingly easy. Okay, am I? I feel like I have to be near the end by this point. Magic? Magical, you do me good. Time. More time. Yeah, at this point, honestly, the magic is the biggest problem that I'm having because of the fucking pike ball. But I. I don't remember. Did I upgrade my magic? Like, the capacity for it? Or did I only, like, buy the magic items? Because I might have only bought the magic items themselves. Fuck you. Not even hard. And I'll skip that gem because I pretty much don't need it. Magic. Health. Time. Time. I need to steal all this time. It's part of my username. When I picked it up when I picked it out 20 years ago in my life. No. I'm not. <laughs> I was born with this name. And people mock me for it. Okay. Yeah, there's gonna be a secondary enemy here somewhere, but what is it going to be? These guys, these don't seem that hard unless they're the bomb fuckers. They're the bomb fuckers. They're the bomb fuckers. And there's these assholes. Because of course there are. Well, these guys, uh. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> I basically stayed above, like, 
like with less than a minute of time spent because of these clocks I keep picking up, and I just find that hilarious. I have not dipped beyond like the two minute mark. Uh, and then this happened again. Uh, okay. That was less bad than before, which actually surprises me. That was room eight. So yeah, I may be very much correct in my assumption that uh, we're coming up on the 10 room mark. Clocks, oh yeah, we're, we're blazing through this. <laughs> and I was worried, but I was also kind of coming up on uh, time on my last episode. It probably was a good idea that I saved this for a completely separate episode. Fuck you, fuck you. The pike ball just kills these things automatically. I don't even have to fucking dodge. Like, these guys do so little, like, such little damage individually, and I kill them so fast that I might as well just heal myself in the inter intermediary rooms. Uh, my, my big question, though, is going to be, um, am I going to be fighting the ammo baron? The answer is probably yes. <clears throat> Tenth room, here we go. Probably the final countdown. Oh, here we go. One of these fuckers. Because of course it is. Come on, die, 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 die. You died, motherfucker. I barely took any damage, holy shit. Yeah. With these pike ball, I'm basically invincible. And yep, and you're dead. More Oh god, it's a blue one. Uh what does the blue one do? Oh, that's what the blue one does. Okay, that would probably be... And I'm out of the pike ball. Fan fucking... T oh, this might actually kill me. I just realized I'm low on health. And I just killed the boss. Fantastic. Clutch victory and we're still not done? Why are we still not done? I mean, I'm not even remotely close to running out of time, but... Oh, this is the boss. Oh, fuck. Fucking happy days. I should have stayed in that room and built up some fucking magic because I regenerate magic. Um, Heal. I will take those hearts. And that heart too. Yes, absolutely. This might... Yeah, okay. So what's the actual... Oh, this is just going to be like one final little enemy rush here. Neat. I should probably be uh, conserving my health more because this is... If this is going to be the final like gauntlet of stuff then I don't want to be just rushing into everything automatically. Although these guys are dropping hearts like crazy, so maybe it won't matter as much. Yeah, okay. Also, these enemies are not that hard. Although, knowing this game, they're probably going to make me find another one of those blue fuckers again. You get back here. Yeah, I will just kneel down and just whack you in your shins, because that is your weak spot. Hi. Oh, I don't even have to fucking kneel for you guys. That's nice. I can do this, though. And you are back. Uh, I have enough magic that I should be able to last me for the rest of this room. Let's find out. Okay, you do that. You're dead. And now, yep. Oh, yep, I knew it. It's a blue guy. And if he spawned on this side of the room that I can almost guarantee... Yep, I had a feeling there was going to be a second one. Because this game really loves me. Although with the pike ball, it's... It became a joke. And, oh, God. Wasn't a joke anymore. Yep, let's go. Let's do this. Die, 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 die. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> yeah, all my time went into that last... There we go. That was surprisingly... It was a little bit stressful with the blue guys, but that really wasn't that bad. Like, honestly, it was not that bad. So I got the second magic seal, and... No new abilities? I'm actually a little bit surprised by that button. Oh, wrong button. Hi, Barracuda Joe. Looks like we've got a winner. See, let's see what you found up there. Uh, <laughs> what's that? A magic squ- <laughs> a, mag a magic squeal? I thought the Ammo Baron only kept valuable treasures up there. <laughs> well, maybe I'll just go back up there and see if there's anything else I missed. Just junky junk. Yeah, good job. Shoot, that's embarrassing. Tell you what, we've got other stuff up there. Oh, like actual cash prizes. Something worth something. 
So come back anytime for a rematch and I'll set you up with some real prizes you can use. We'll track your best scores and all that, really make it worth your while. And just so there's no hard feelings, take this here. Ooh, a key in the forest. Hmm, I'll have to, I'll have to, maybe, uh, maybe this is like the game telling me I have to go to the forest now. Wait, is it the forest I was just in? Wasn't that where fucking Squid Baron was? I'm confused. Was there a locked door that I missed there? I don't even remember anymore. I guess we'll find out. No idea what that thing's for. It looks old. Like something a wood sprite would use to wind their watch with or some dumb thing. <laughs> Take it, it's yours. I'm like losing. I'm like getting out of character. Thanks, Barracuda Joe. <laughs> You're a lifesaver. Kiss. Daw shucks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say kiss to me unless you're actually giving me a kiss. <laughs> motherfucker, you... I, motherfucker game. Otherwise, it's just words, okay? Okay. Kiss. Okay, you're doing it again? <laughs> yeah, go. Be sure to hit a save room. First stop on the left. Yes, I remember where the save room is. I just came from there! Also, it's not really a room, it's more like a- Hi, Risky! Risky Boots! I had a feeling you'd show up! <laughs> I'm afraid my patience for you is starting to wear thin. Why don't you hand over both magic seals now, and save you and your dear uncle from any further unpleasantness? Never! Fine, we'll do this the hard way. You'll both beg for mercy in the end. You'll see. I've decided to give her a voice. What do you think? If you say you like it, good. If you say you don't like it, I'll kill you. I, I can't kill you. Uh, would I like to save a record? Yes, I would, please. Save complete. Now it's time to- uh, now it's time to get back to fucking... Oh, lordy lord. It's a 12 minute episode so far. Do I really want to fucking stop at this point? Uh, here, I'm just gonna- how about this? I'm just gonna skip ahead to fucking... Uh, yeah. If, if I can think straight and not get attacked, pause the game while I think. Sequin Town. That's where I'm going. I will see you at Sequin Town. Ha! And we're here, and I've already done all the things I need to do. Specifically, go and save and go and upgrade my, uh, attack. So now I have... It should show up here. Yep, there it is. Silky Cream. Repair split ends, and it's faster whipping. It's a, yeah, it's a little bit faster. So now that we're here, now we can go on to Tangle Forest to find out where that fucking key goes. Alright, so... Uh, is this the forest, or...? Actually, let me just check to make sure that I'm actually going in the right spot, and this doesn't tell me anything. Fan-fucking-tastic! Alright. Well... I'm sure we'll figure it out or something. Or I'll just edit this out if I'm going the wrong way. So if you're seeing this, I'm going the right way. Or I'm too lazy. I'm definitely able to kill these things a lot faster, that's for damn sure. And I think this actually does do mildly more damage, so I think this... I'm gonna call this a success. What is this? Can't do anything there, yet. But I will be able to soon. I can sense it. Okay. So, cross this bridge, fuck you. In particular. Fuck you guys in particular. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, I'm definitely able to do a lot faster attacks now that I'm actually paying attention. Alright. And I've only got 80 gems. And I wasted all my fucking magic jam things. I wonder- I really need to fucking figure out how to get more of those. I- That might be like the one thing that I look up for this game. How to find all the magic jams. Because... Yeah, like it- I'm reminded of kind of like finding all the squid heart things. Uh, I, think, I think I forgot to fucking edit it into the episode. Last time, because I'm fucking smart. Like, I actually watched the video as I was uploading it, and I'm like, oh, damn, I forgot to do that. I'll flash it on real quick this time, hopefully, if I'm not too dumb. Uh, where the hell am I going? I really have no. Hello? I don't remember you. Or actually, I kind of do. Is this. Are you the. Oh, that's where the forest key goes. Okay, I, was, I didn't actually realize I was going the right way. Cool. This part looks spooky. Three, oh boy. 
Okay, so we're going this way now. There's a lot of things down there. It's really making me think that we're gonna get like a charge move very soon if the game is like setting itself up like this. Like I played, oh yeah. Oh, we're definitely getting a fucking charge move if the room is set up like fucking this. Like, oh my God, this is giving me such a fucking Metroid feel. You would not believe. Like, uh, I can guarantee you that we're gonna very soon find ourselves at a point where we're going to be trapped and we can't go back unless we have a, mi a mystical move that we're gonna somehow get somewhere. But I wonder where. Uh. Well, Metroidvania elements coming in. Alright. I can't. No, I can't get up there. Never mind. Yes, I can. I am a filthy liar. <laughs> oh, this fucking thing is beautiful. I wish I could have upgraded this, but, um, I couldn't. Whoa. Oh, I'm guessing that's just an alternate way to get out of there, or so some. Oh, never mind. Fuck it. I think I might have needed, like, the monkey or something. I don't really care. <laughs> Pike ball is y useful. See what I mean? I'm stuck. However, will I get out here? I can't use the monkey to get up there. Gee, I wonder what's in here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it set itself up like that, but I'm still interested to see what I'm going to get. Uh, it's going to be a dance of some sort, but what kind of dance is going to make me charge? Uh, who approaches my magic fountain? That's cool looking. I sense a restless energy deep inside you. Channel your passions and allow the magic to ta change shape. Behold, the power to shine spark. Or to elephant, that also works. I've always wanted to learn to elephant. That has been dreamed mine of. Simply hold the dance button, then release it during my second belly dance move. Oh boy. Second, the elephant dance will allow me to smash away obstacles. Uh, all right. So let's see how this works. Is it just, is it like Metroid where you have to like build up speed or? Well, let's find out. And elephant. That sure is an elephant. And he moves and she moves slow, like really slow. Let's see how this works. And charge or something. Oh yeah, you're useful. Uh, oh, whoa, what? Oh, okay, so it's basically just, you just start charging from the point you're standing in, and it's only for a short moment. That is infinitely better than what fucking, uh, Metroid does. Cause Metroid is like, you have to like, find a long stretch of a corridor so you can charge up the goddamn charge. Which ultimately, I think, makes sense. Because that way they el it lets them like fucking make puzzles around the whole thing of like you c you need to use the shine spark in a certain area so either find a long stretch of road or something to activate it and that's the monkey. So I I understand why they do it but it's still kind of annoying that like you can only use it when you find like long stretches of fucking running track. Oh boy and. Boy, I really wish that they fucking mapped all these individual, like, dances to, like, different buttons. Like, I'm really like, what's it called? I think I remember this game originally. Hey! Hey, uh, Brainiac. I'll, I'll continue my line of thought in a bit. Where are you going? Uh, yes, where to? Who are you got? Who are you guys? There we go. No need for alarm. Shantae, right? The chick with the brain. I mean, there are many people with brains. From Scuttletown. Who are these people again? And why do they look vaguely familiar? Yeah, she's the one little sis is always running at the... That's what it is. They're brothers to, uh... Roddy Tops. That's it. I didn't realize they were in this game. They are probably on the fucking splash screen every single time, and I just kept not seeing them. You guys are Roddy Tops brothers? Yeah, oh yeah, and the game just fucking says it outright. Great. Uh, yeah, that's right. Abner Kadesh. 
almost as bad as Phoenix Wright names. I'm just saying. The oldest, and he's here's Poe. We're here because you got we got a proposition for you. I'm not buying a condo. <laughs> like, like we know your next stop is the hip. Ooh, I didn't remember that it was a hypno baron. His oceanside fortress is impenetrable. There ain't no way you're breaking in there without our help. All right, then help me. It's a labyrinth that bores deep into the seaside cliffs. It's filled with tricks and traps. Very, very dangerous. That, that sounds pleasant. Our offer is this. We get you in. In return, you gotta br brew us some coffee. Have you heard of Starbucks? Are you serious? Dead serious. You know about wild brain-eating zombies? Like you? A strong cup of joe is the only thing that separates us from that. <laughs> so do it. You don't want to be there when Sis's eyes roll back and she goes freak show on ya. You're gonna need a coffee machine and some fresh coffee beans. Oh, and I like mine with a little rotten egg mixed in. Drop it off at the old boathouse and we'll hook you up with a way into the labyrinth. You got all that? I hear you, but I seriously have to do a coffee run? This game really takes the idea of like having to do like fetch quests and extending like game the game itself and just takes it into like the most ridiculous directions. Like I'm already two thirds of the way through the game and they find a way to make it like infinitely more complicated because now to get the third item, I need three more items to get into the place where the third true item is. Yeah, this game. Shut up, Discord. Uh yeah it's not padded it's fractally padded <laughs> uh you ain't gotta do it but good luck getting inside the hypno baron's digs if you don't in other words i'm not i'm not programmed to go inside unless i do this fucking fetch quest joy so you know where we gotta go next right right because i don't I, I i actually have no idea where the fuck to go next the only thing I can think of is to go to the town and ask around. Maybe somebody at the town knows where I gotta go next, and this guy's about to kill me if I'm not careful. Never mind, I'm safe. Okay, so next time on Shantae, Risky's Revenge, we're going on a coffee run because damn zombies need them cup of joes, am I right? <laughs> uh, hell of a birthday, huh? See you guys next time, everybody. Work for damn gift.